Welcome to this CapCut for Beginners tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to cut and trim each clip and the different ways to achieve that. So now I have a nice selection of clips that I want to use for this project. Now I need to work with each individual clip and make sure that it is like I want it to be. If I just zoom in on the boat clip here, that might be a little bit too long, that sequence. So I want to cut it to the right length. And there are several ways of doing that. One of them is using the splitting tool that will be available if you press this option here, where it says split. So if I press that one, it will simply split the clip. So it's basically two parts as it is right now. So now I can use the J, K and L options to scrub back and forward on my timeline. And let's say that um, I want the clip to be yeah, approximately this length. I will stop the playhead here. And again, I can select the splitting tool here, or I can use the command B option, and then you can see the clip will be split. So I basically have the original clip divided into three sections as it is. And as I only want the middle part, I just select the outer ones, and then I press delete on the keyboard, and delete on the keyboard and they're gone. Let's say that you have regretted the cutting of the clip. You can easily undo that. There are undo buttons over here that will allow you to yeah, move back and undo any of the cuts that you have done to your footage. But no, it's sequential, so they will be undone in the reverse order that you did them. So let's say that uh, you basically want back end to be longer of the clip. You can simply just select it and then you can use the mouse just to drag it like this into your desired position. There are a few shortcuts that will allow you to do this cutting even faster than I just showed you here, where you don't need to lift your hands from the keyboard. So if you basically go to this position, let's say that uh, we want to cut a little bit of the beginning of this clip, I can simply press Q on the keyboard and then it will delete everything that is on the left side of uh, the playhead. So see, now that part disappeared. And I can do the same thing on the other end and erase everything that is on position on the right side of the playhead if I press V on the keyboard. So see? That was very, very easy. That was a very easy task to cut down this clip. And as I mentioned before on the, the player up here, that is right now playing the footage that we have on the timeline, you will be able to see by the Suyan indicator or counter here, you will see the current position of the playhead. So you see if I move it, you can see the counter goes up and down. So if I put it like in the intersection between these two clips, you would say that it's positioned in 21 seconds and the total length of the clip is 45 seconds. Those are important parameters to know because if you're aiming for a certain length of the video, you might want to know this information already now to get an idea how much you need to reduce the footage. Maybe it's easier if I show you this on an audio clip. So let's see here. There's a lot of silence here in the beginning of the clip that we want to get rid of. So if I position the playhead here where I want my clip to start, when I start speaking, I press the Q. So we see, oh, press the playhead, I press Q. So you can see it removed the part before I started speaking. Well, that is super nice. The problem is that the wind Then we just listen to what I'm saying. So I have da -da 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 -da. on the way out. And against all that I've been teaching here on the channel, <laughs> I have to fly against the wind when I'm going back home. And we don't want the rest here. Just for this example, we'll take that one away. So we press uh, the W, you will see the back part of uh, the clip disappeared. It's the wind when I'm going back home. The lesson that you just watched is part of a full tutorial that covers end to end the workflow from you importing the footage, exporting it into a final video. If you want to watch the full tutorial in one go, you can access it through this card. Or you can watch the individual topics through the playlist below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.